Welcome to another episode of the Charcoal Boys. Today we are cooking up some ribs, smoking ribs, smoking some pork ribs. We're breaking Mike's virginity on smoking. He's so, never smoked anything before, right? No. Apart from a cigarette. Yeah. <coughs> and other stuff. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to be smoking ribs <laughs> on an offset smoker, um, which basically has a chamber to the side. Um, and then funnels the smoke through to another chamber, which is where we'll have the meat. Um, we, the, the problem is I've got a cheap smoker and it's only got a small chamber. So there's no point in trying to manage a wood fire in it. You may as well start the fire with charcoal and then add little bits of wood on like that sort of size to get your smoke. Um, but we'll talk you through that as we're doing it anyway. But first of all, we need to prep our ribs. I'm following his lead. So we'll listen in on him and uh, I'll tell you how easy it is at the end. So we've got a full rack of ribs. We've got a minute. Right, basically, we want to take out any sort of lumps and bumps, if there is any, in your ribs. Now on mine, I haven't really got any. Um, I'm pretty smooth, so is yours, but I'm yeah. it. Yeah, well, good. Cool. So, the other thing we want to do is the membrane at the back. Some people remove it. Um, I don't. I tend to just score it. So if you go down with your knife on the ribs, on the bone, all the way down. And no then, wonder you wanted a small knife. And then in between. I've <laughs> got another small one. You want to go in between them as well. So you basically just want to create a big crisscross along the back of the ribs. That way the membrane will shrink back but not completely disappear. Um, the other reason I like to keep it on as well is because it keeps the, the meat to the bone. Otherwise, when they're done, the bone will just fall, fall out yeah, and the meat will just fall off of it. Whereas we want to kind of keep the shape. So we'll just go across them as well. Have done it already? Well, not as much as you, obviously. You want them like half a centimetre square, sort of thing, really. The smaller the better. In this case, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. I mean, you trimming any of these bit? <sighs> you could uh, so like on the inside of yours, where you got the fat there. I would, I would just trim, trim that off. Yeah, just to keep it smooth. I mean, mine hasn't. Mine's got nothing. Mine's pretty perfect, to be fair. The other thing that some people do is they like to take the fat off. No. Um, we I'll like fat. Yeah, I prefer to keep it on. I mean, it just gives it a little bit more juicy, juiciness at the top end of the ribs where the fat is. Yep. Um, so, yeah. So that's fine. Right. Then, seasoning. <laughs> Some people put paprika, sugar, garlic powder, onion powder, all that sort of stuff. Um, for me, literally, a 50-50 mix of salt and pepper. Coarse uh, cool salt and coarse cool pepper um, and you just want a 50-50 mix of it and that's all you put and on and that's all we put on and we're just going to coat it and then towards the end of the, the cooking yeah. process yeah so we'll be smoking these for probably about two hours uncovered one hour covered yeah depending we'll see how we go one hour covered and then once we unwrap it after that hour we'll put sauce on right so you could put anything you put whatever whatever barbecue sauce you want you want to make one you can make one you want to buy one you buy one you stick it on and then we stick it on there for the last sort of hour just cool. to solidify the sauce and stick it to the ribs cool um so to start off with all we literally do is salt and salt and pepper so we just want to cover it don't be too shy with it I know some people like to put mustard and stuff like that to stick the salt and pepper to it, which is fine, because I don't really think the mustard gives it that much of a flavour. Right. Because it's such a thin coat and yep. you're smoking it goes away. So I mean, people, you could always try different... Oh, no, you do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah but but try different stuff, see what suits you better. Yep. What works for one doesn't work for all. Yep. Are 
knees up on it a little bit. On the back? Yeah, oh yeah. In total? Yeah. Sorty ribs? Yeah. You've been there? Yep. Yep. Over, overseas them before. Yep. Still ate them. <laughs> As you do. Yeah. So yeah, so you, you want them to look like that. Yeah. Probably more so like his, but... Yeah, he's got a little bit heavy, but it doesn't matter. If you like salt, you're good. Um, and then all we do is we get our smoker up, put some wood on, get it up to about 170. Um, and then we're going to stick them on. So we're going to do that now. Get the get the fire going, get the wood going, and then we'll stick them on. Let's go. smoke what we've got at the minute is probably the most I would want um, so you want it on fire you don't want it just sitting in there smoking because then it's going to give it a horrible taste you don't want it to be too heavy on the smoke clean smoke that's the, that's the right term so we're up to temperature um, so we're going to stick them on we want the thickest part facing the, the fire at the minute we can get on our smoker and then we just shut it how long are you gonna leave it for we're gonna check it probably in about an hour okay. manage the fire because we have to um, make sure the temperature is okay um, and then we'll check it in an hour if they're if they're starting to look dry then we spray them with a mix of apple cider vinegar and water and, and what's your mix 50 50 okay and then we just want to spritz them just to keep them moist um, any bits that are drying out we want to spray so yeah we'll see you in an hour right so our ribs have been on for about an hour hour and 15 we're gonna need to spray them this is what they look like so there's some bits where they're, they're looking a little bit dry so we just spritz them up really tight and we don't want any air getting out I think to fold the edges over that way you know it's sealed fold them over I need more foil. Hey, you didn't do it properly. I didn't. Right, let's put these ones on. And then I'll sort my foil out. I'll get the foil, shall I? No, I'll do it with that. It should be alright. Yeah? Thing. Yeah, we need more. Now they go get the floor. Ah, ah, ah. 
if you're using normal kitchen foil, you want one sheet at the bottom and one sheet at the top. To be fair, I messed it up on purpose, so you could just do it for me. Mm -hmm. Of course. We only come here for the food. Mm -hmm. Put them on. Ooh. He's fucked up as well. Mm -hmm. right, good. And how long is that on for? We we'll leave them on for an hour. Okay. And we'll unwrap them, put the sauce on, leave them back in there. An no hour, wrap. Maybe half an hour. We'll leave the bottom layer on so we don't dirt the grills. Right. But we'll put stuff on top. Cool. But it depends. Could be could be in there afterwards for half an hour, could be an hour. Cool. Depends. Right. So we had them wrapped up for an hour. We now unwrap them. Put some barbecue sauce on. We bought our barbecue sauce. We don't always make it. So we just want like a thin coat on there. Don't want too much. There you go. Are you sure to brush it on? I'll give you this in a minute. I've only got one brush. I want to get all the edges as well, really. I don't coat the underside, um, I just leave them. Just put it on the top, not on the just back. Put it on the top and sides. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. And then don't wrap them back up. Right, we're all done. Uh, sauce has been on, they've been on there smoking for a bit longer. We're just going to take them off, cut them up and uh, see what they taste like. The ultimate test. Rick's bar, uh, Rick's ribs. Rick's yeah, that's ribs. a new restaurant for you, isn't it? Rick's ribs. Rick's ribs. Yeah. You may know how to cook them, but you don't know how to cut them. I didn't know which way the bones were going. I mean, they smell good. I'm looking forward to this end bit the most. That's, the, that's, that's my favourite. Really? Yeah, that's my favourite. So you can, can see try. our smoke ring. If you look at it, the pink it is cooked. It's just a smoke ring. And they're really juicy. Mm. Mm. I mean, for me, the fact that they don't fall straight off the bone and you can grab it and eat it. You gonna eat one? Yeah, I'm gonna eat one. Just try it. I'm gonna eat the end, I love the end. Lovely. Be, they could do it being a little bit more tender, I think. A little bit. But, but do you know what? I like the toughness of them a little bit. For me, it's a little bit too much. They're good. Not too bad. Mm -mm. <laughs> you picked the biggest one to eat. I did, yeah. But good? Yeah, they taste do taste good, yeah. Good. Try and error, right? Oh, absolutely. It's the same with everything, right? Like. You're never going to get perfect all the time. Yep. I've probably got stuff all around my face. Right, let's chop them up. Turn in. Cool. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And ring the bell as well. Yeah, ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> cool. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.